the first thing I want you to do is go over to where it says pages on your admin panel on the left. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, now what I want to point out is that we have three pages that are supposed to be on our page and live. Those pages are the front page, the FAQ page, and the about us page. The way that we can actually take a look at our site, remember, is to go down to the bottom left hand corner of the website and then click on this option in the middle to view your website. So we can see here that what we have available is home, catalog, blog, and about us. And then in the footer, we have about us and search. Now let's go back and remember, we had home, footer, catalog, and about us. So the home was the front page. We have the about us, but what about the FAQ? Why isn't that showing up? Well, that's because we haven't actually set it up to show up yet. So to do that, first we have to go into navigation. Again, go to the left hand side into your admin panel and then click on where it says navigation. And then over here, we can actually go ahead and start adding to that list. So the main menu list over here on the right, home, catalog, blog, and about us, is that main menu list on the website home, catalog, blog, and about us. So let's go back. And then on the footer, we have search and about us. So we'll go and look on our site and see that at the footer, again, we have search and about us. So let's go back. Now to go ahead and add something to one of these lists, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is go up into the top right hand corner of whichever box it is that you're in. So for the main menu, it's the right box and I'm going to go ahead and click on edit link list. And over here, I can go ahead and look down to the second half of options and where it says links. And then underneath that, I can click on add another link. So once I do that, you see that an empty spot appears over here and I can go ahead and add the name of the link. And I can also pick what type of link it is. So if I wanted to add the FAQ page, I would click on page over here, and then I would go to the next option and select which page it is, which is the FAQ page. And now the name is going to be FAQ, but I could make it frequently asked question. I could also make it FAQs, because this is the link name as people are going to see it over here, but then it's going to actually take them to the URL for the FAQ page. So once we're done with that, we can just go ahead and click save, and then we'll go back to the website, and we'll refresh this page, and then we'll see that when it loads up again, now we have the FAQs. And remember, this name is different from the link page name, so I'm gonna click on it, and it'll take us to the Frequently Asked Questions FAQ page. So let's go back to our admin, and go back to our navigation, and do the same for the footer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit link list on the footer box and then I'm going to go down to the second section and I'm going to click on add another link and over here I'm going to add the same thing FAQ but this time I'm, I'm not going to write the S in for FAQs just so that I can show you that no matter what this link name is it'll still take you to the same place. So let's go to the next option and select page because it's a page and then we'll select which page which is the FAQ page, and then we'll click on save, and then we'll go back to our page, refresh it, and then once it refreshes, we'll go down, and we see here in our footer that we have FAQ, not plural FAQs, but if we click it, it'll still take us to the frequently asked questions FAQ page. So let's go back to our admin, and let's go back to the navigation, and what I'm going to show you here now is the add a link list. So let's go ahead and click on it. It's on the left hand side. So what this will do is actually add a drop down menu for the options in your main menu. So what I mean by that is go to your website and then over here where it says catalog, for example, we're going to make it so when we hover over this, you'll see the men's and then the women's sections drop down. Those are the categories or collections that we created earlier. So I'm going to go back to the admin and then over here I'm going to go ahead and add the name and then I'm going to go down to the second section where it says links and I'm going to go ahead and add the links which are the names for the men's and women's collections separately. So all I have to do is just type that in here men's and then link to the type of page that it is. It's actually not a page it's a collection 
and I want it to go to the men's collection. And now I'll add another link. And then over here, I'm gonna write women's and then select that it's a collection and then go ahead and choose the collection which we have labeled women's. And now I'll save and I'm gonna go to the website and I'm gonna refresh the page. And now I wanna to go to the catalog, see and right when I hover over it, now we have the men's and women's collections available. So I can go ahead and click on men's and I can see what we have available for sale here. We don't have anything right now, but I can go to women's and you'll see that it comes to the women's page. So that's how you use the navigation and I hope you understand a little bit more how it works. Usually for people who have never created a website before, this is one of the more confusing areas, but with time it gets very easy and it becomes second nature.